Hey Target Individuals, this is VW again. I'm doing a uh, about face video because I just wanted to show y'all something real quick. I'll show you show you a visual that sums this guy up to a T. The organizer of all this stalking and microwave shooting and killing and treacherous stuff. This visual right here. That's him right there. He went ahead and he put his daughter's little trikes, their little pink trikes, right next to the corrugated steel that I put up to defend my life. It's like earlier this whole week, I'm like, you throw your daughters and your wife in front of this while you're microwaving people and killing them. And so like what he does, he tells his wife, he's like, oh man, you know, I'm not really like this. I'm not this treacherous, but I'm, I've got to do this and it really messes with this guy. And then he goes ahead and does it anyway. Puts the little pink chairs right against it. So, he, so if anybody sees this over here, my corrugated steel, my aluminum on my house to try and save my life, juxtaposed with his daughter's little little pink trikes, they'll be like, he has daughters. And they're, and they're putting their trikes right next to this crazy guy's corrugated steel. They're going to get hurt. That's how this guy operates. That's how all these guys operate. And I just wanted to show you all that. This guy is definitely doing it. And I need to be more careful because I say like the lady next door and stuff like that and the supporting characters. All I know is his, him and his wife are in there. There's some supporting characters. But I'm not too uh, certain of that. But this, this visual, that sums it up. Like he's gonna try and look like a family man, you know, like a like I'm just yelling at him and his wife and his daughters, a crazy guy, while he just shoots microwaves all at my head. I mean he wrecked me last night. I slept for two days, but I didn't really sleep. I was concussed. I was concussed in my enclosure and one of my legs like it's still sore. Like I still have to get the use back in it. I was limping all morning, all Sunday morning. It's awesome. And everybody around here, the ones that don't know, like these guys know. The guy across the street knows. The guy with the gun that I'm putting a video out, and I have him on video, but it doesn't show the gun very well, but it was a real gun. And he came out, I was making a video out in my front yard. And I'll show y'all, I'll do it again. It was in my front yard, and I want to try and start making all my videos just kind of out in my yard. I'm not going to hide it anymore, so people can either decide if they want to think I'm crazy and help this guy more, if they want to keep out of it, or if they want to help me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like be real loud about it. So I was just sitting. This is about where my car was, and I was sitting out here doing one of my videos. You know, I was just like, it was... It was like 6 in the morning, and I was like, blah, 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 video. And I see this guy walking out in the front of his house. I hear something break, and then I hear a cock, like a shotgun cocking. And he walks out right in front of his house. You see that house, Caddy Corner, right there with the white truck and the black car? And he walks right in the front of his house with a gun on his shoulder, with a long weapon on his shoulder. Then he walks out to the front where his driveway is and he walks to the end of his driveway with it on his shoulder like a soldier would do and then I go I, I was like sitting a little bit further this way so I couldn't really see him and like I didn't feel any adrenaline or anything which is weird like I gotta go back over that in my own mind um, but I ran over this way I was like this guy has a gun and like he was right there he had a real gun and I walked over, and then he walked. He he kind of he kind of fastly walked back in, you know, because he didn't want to get on tape. And then, and I'll, I'll show you the videos. I called the cops out here. Cops took my report. They said we'll go talk to him. You go back inside. And then I went inside. The cops drove off. Didn't take a report. Didn't go talk to the individual at all. Didn't go talk to him. And it's a young guy in black clothes with a shotgun or a uh, a rifle of some sort he came out and did that right when I was making a video outside I don't know 
I don't know, man. It tends to be getting worse. As my mom said, she said, when you get out of there, it seems like it's just escalating. But I don't know. If I can get some if I can get some real video of some guys with real guns, you know, threatening me, then I can end it. And I think the cops may or not uh they may maybe they didn't go talk to the guy because once they do that and there are real weapons involved in all this, then they've gotta be more careful and it goes up the up the chain and they aren't able to get away with as much stuff, you know. So, but yeah, yeah, this morning, came out with a long weapon, walked down his driveway, didn't even look at me or anything, you know, heard something break, then I heard a weapon cock, and then he walked out in the front, then he walked down his driveway with the weapon, cops didn't, cops didn't even question him, and I'm gonna call these videos, probably this one too, FUBAR, and I'll just be known as crazy, these guys have got it so you know, wrapped up tight with their, uh, what, what do you call it, propaganda. And this right here, if you don't know, if you are an American citizen and you don't know that this, this is propaganda. Right chair. That's propaganda. That's him throwing his daughters out in front of all this. No, Pepper, go back in. Get back in there. You just walked right through that. Go, get back in. Pepper, walk, get back in. Go. You are not allowed to do that, little Miss Chris. Stay on that side. Do not, do not do that. Look at that little boo-boo. Look at that little boo-boo. That right there, that is propaganda. That's him throwing his daughters out in front of all this. So he's the good dad. He's the good husband, and I'm the crazy loner. I'm the crazy loner, man. These people are actually moving out of their house next door to those guys. I didn't even know these guys were involved across the street. I don't think they have any microwave weapons or anything like that. You know, it could have just been the... um you know, coming out, I'm sure maybe this guy told him, he was like, come out with your weapon, you know, that'll do, that'll do a good job, and that'll, yeah, he doesn't care about anybody. Alright, I'm going to go back in the back. Got some good yard work done today. That was a real weapon, though. Like, all this microwave stuff, I guess, is questionable. If I can get somebody else with a real weapon, and I got some of it on tape, you'd have to like, you'd have to like look at the tape and then, uh, you know, I guess, uh, make it a lot bigger and you could see his gun. And he just came out all crazy with a weapon on his shoulder. It's crazy. I mean, like they could put their daughter's, uh, trikes anywhere that says something that says something to the neighborhood that says that I'm crazy guy with aluminum trying to defend himself and they're just a good family they're just a good family and they've hurt the crap out of me I mean even with that stuff that I'm putting in my attic they're showering down microwave radiation but he focused on my legs and my genitals last night so I guess I got it good around my head I don't think I'd want to leave this house. Like, it's like, I'm probably going to have to leave this house soon. But I've done so much work, and I'm so defended. I mean, they're still hurting me a little bit, but... This is their backyard. He's got a family. He's got wife and kids. That right next to there. Because they can be like... They can be like, he needs to take all that down. Because my daughter's trikes. They trike right in that little alleyway. He could say something like that. Huh. And what do you expect when somebody's killing somebody in their sleep? There's not much you can expect from them. They're gonna throw their wife and kids out in front of it and be a coward any way he can be. And then when I call him a coward because he's ex-military, all these real mil military guys are like, you call somebody that's ex-military a coward, but it has nothing to do with his military service. 
It has to do with him killing me with microwaves in my house. And so then you get some crazy young guy across the street who I don't even know bringing out a long weapon in the morning. And what if he was crazy? Like, what if he was just this insane guy and he pointed the weapon at me just as a lark, you know, just to, to scare me, and it accidentally went off and blew me away? Like, that's what this guy sets up. He sets that stuff up. There was somebody trying to run me off the road, but his job was probably just to ride around me with one light, you know, the, the infamous one light. That's what this guy does. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired. I've been mowing the lawn and everything. It looks all right. But the, the lawnmower ran out of gas. The grass was so long, I had to, like, tilt it up and go over it several times. You don't think that's that you don't think that's on purpose right there? Like any good father, like a, any good real father would be like get your tricycles away from that guy's yard. If I was just a crazy guy, if I was a crazy guy accusing these people of all this stuff and it wasn't really going on, he'd be like get your trikes away from that guy's yard. I don't even want you going close to his yard or that corrugated steel to get cut on like that. But he's so worried about how it looks and how he needs to look like a good dad while he burns me and burns my nervous system inside my house with microwaves. He's so concerned about that. You know? But <laughs> their safety doesn't matter. Nobody's safety matters. That's why I could just imagine him telling that young kid, you need to go walk outside with your gun, that'll freak him out. And that kid's future could totally be destroyed. Oh, wow. I smell burning hamburgers. They're poison in my backyard. They were doing it when my mom was helping me in my yard, and they were poisoning my yard, in my front yard, my backyard while she was here. He, heard, he like, they watch my mom in, in her bathroom, in my bathroom when she comes, because they're surveilling my house. And they watch her in the bathroom. Like, and she just does, she has no idea, you know? It's great, man. I wish, some of, I wish some of these good neighbors that I have knew, like, the full score of it. And that's why I'm going to do these videos outside. I'm going to do it loud. And I think that's what that guy with the gun was all about, you know. I think it was about me, like, oh, whoa, there's a guy with a gun. I'm supposed to go inside. But I didn't even feel like my heart didn't even flutter. Uh, I didn't feel any adrenaline. I was just like, I want to get this guy on tape. Like, I, I, that's, a, that's really how I felt. I want to get this guy on tape because there's some physical evidence when you're tortured for two and a half years, you start doing, uh, you start feeling different about some of this stuff. All right. This, maybe this will be part four, FUBAR. You know, look at the little sweet baby. Look at her. She's got fleas. She's got fleas. Yep, there you go. There she goes. She's got fleas. Don't feed. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. What you want? What you want, little baby? What you want, little baby? What you want, little baby? What you want? What you want? All right, guys. But I will talk to you later. Live long and prosper. Keep on, keep on, keeping on. Uh, more videos come. I think I might do Fubar one, two, three, four, and then I might make a long video just going back over. Uh, the events of the, the two days prior where I was pretty much concussed. I was laid out where I couldn't even get up. And when I did try and get up on day two, like it was just a struggle. I had to get up, like I had to put my head down and my ass up first and then, and then get up real slowly because it was like my body had just been burnt to a crisp. Like especially the back of my head, uh, my left leg because I think I was sleeping like on my right side and so they were chomping at my left leg just shooting it and so I put uh, today I went back up there and I put uh, I tried to my mom uh, hit the hit the ceiling with a with a broomstick to get a better uh, bead on on where to put my corrugated steel up there and it's so small up there it's hard to get them right but uh but maybe maybe I'll have them right tonight and I'll have some uh you know, some downtime where I can just rest and heal up. I mean, this guy, he goes for the nads mostly. That's his number one spot. And then it's my head. And then my shoulders and my hips. I 
they're sick. He's he's roasting and microwaving an American in their house. And then like today, like I saw a guy working in his yard, one of my other neighbors, I'm not gonna show them, but uh like he was slamming his door. And I think they tell the neighbors they're like, This guy doesn't like loud sounds, to slam your door and all this stuff. And it's like if they knew <laughs> what I went through on a nightly basis, like how many mi how much microwave shit I had pouring into my house and shooting me in the head, they would be like, I'm not getting involved in that, or they would help me. Like, because I don't think people are that shitty to slam doors on somebody who's getting, like, tortured in their house. Some people are. Some people know about it. You know, some people are cool with it. It's just, uh, it's just another day for some people. Killing somebody is just bonus. I can't imagine it. I'm sure a lot of y'all can't imagine it. I was thinking that guy with the gun this morning. It's like, it's better him doing stuff like that to me to freak me out than uh, shooting up a Wendy's or, you know, assassinating a bunch of people in a crowd or something like that. So maybe they feed, maybe these, these departments feed people like that. They get their profiles and they give them microwave weapons so they won't shoot up crowds and stuff. I, I'm just joking about that. Maybe, though. All right, guys. Uh, live long and prosper, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.